I want to teach you to mute yourself. When you when everyone comes on, they should mute themselves. I want to teach you how this structure looks like, okay? Because when you're writing CSS, this is the structure you follow. All right. So we have the selector, okay? And in this case, I told you that the, the, the name of the selector you type here should correspond with the name of the element, okay? So body, and then we wrote body here. And then you type the opening uh, curly brace, then you type your closing curly brace. Then inside of that, you type your, um, what we call a property and then a property value, okay? And then you have a column, a column separating the property and a property value. Then you end it with a semicolon, okay? Now this property, you will see we have so many types of properties. So for now, I am going to teach you how to change the color of your text, all right? So if I type text color over here, no, if I type just color and I make it white, okay? So now you can see that we can write multiple, um, multiple rules, okay? A property and a value is called a rule, a CSS rule. Let me spell it for you. So a property and a value is called a rule like that. So that is, that is that one as well. So we have color white, okay? So you can write multiple rules uh, and they should all come on the different line. Okay, you can't, you can't do this. You can't put this one here. Okay, it's not allowed. So you have to write it on the next line and they should all be arranged like that. So if I save this and I refresh the page, you see that the color of the text turns white. You see that? So the color of the text turns white and the background is orange, right? So we've, we selected the body and we did that to it. Now, if I want to select the paragraph, because I said anything, every uh, element inside of the body tag can be selected and styled. So if I want to select the paragraph, all I need to do is to come under the body, okay? So you come under the opening and the closing brace of the body selector, and then you type your P like that. Then you open another closing and opening and closing curly brace, and then you type your styles here, what you want to do. So I can increase the size of the paragraph text, okay? So if I say font size, and I put, 30, right, you see, I put 30 here, but you need to add a unit of measurement. In CSS, we use pixels, okay? This is how you spell pixels. So pixels is spelled like this, and the short form of that is known as PX. So so we have 30 px. So if I save that and I refresh the screen, the, you see the size increases. Okay? The size increases. We have the box model, the size increases. So that is how you select elements on the page. Now, you, you also saw that when I type color white, okay, over here on the body, the text color became white. If I type color again, color again and make it red, If I type color again and make it red, 
you see that the text color changes to red and the white doesn't apply anymore. That is because of how CSS works, okay? It starts from the top and then it applies the styles. So it has a color here, which is white. Now, as it goes down the styles, if it doesn't meet color again, it will use the white, okay? But if it meets color again, and it has a different value, say red in this instance, or green, or blue, that color will override the first color. Do you understand? So we, if we have white here and we have red here. The red will, will be given priority over the white because the red appears last. Do you understand? So we have color of red right here and the color of white, but red comes before white. So red will apply. It is the same for all the attributes, okay? Not just the color alone. So if I, you, now I can give my paragraph a background as well. So, but for now it's background is orange because all the body has orange. So if I specify a background here and I put uh, blue, for instance, and I save it and I go back to a page and refresh, you see that the paragraph has a blue background. And I applied blue to just the paragraph, okay? To just the paragraph. And you can see that it goes all the way from the left to the right, okay? So you can see it spans the entire browser width. So if an element spans the entire browser width, it is called a block element. There are some elements, it won't span the entire browser width, okay? So we'll, we'll, we'll look at it step by step and then we, we will see the difference. But when we get there, I'll tell you. So the background applied to the paragraph, but you can see the paragraph, the words inside the paragraph, they end here. Okay, they, they end over here. But the background that we applied to the paragraph extended to the very right side of the screen. So that means that the paragraph, even though it works and here, it actually spans the entire width of the browser. So it moves from the left all the way to the right. But because the words are short, it won't span the entire width of the browser. That is why we see it like that. Okay, so that is how um, it works for that one as well. So we have a color, the background of blue. Now we can also give it a border, okay? So these are some of the styles you can apply to your work. You can use color, background, font size. Then we also have a border. We will look at them one by one from next week. But for now, I just want to teach you something. So I will apply a, back, a border of, let me say, two pixels, solid, um, yellow, okay? Forget about it. Just look at what it does on the screen. So you can see that now we have a yellow border around the paragraph, okay? The reason why, again, it is not ending over here is because it spans the entire width of the, uh, of the browser, right? So you are going to do the same thing for me. Try to create a paragraph and then apply the styles I have applied here to your paragraph. And let's see if it will work. So do it right now.
Who is Dan? Yeah, please, can you put it back on the notepad? I didn't see the border wall. Papa Kofi. Yes, Uncle. Have you sent the work? No, Uncle, I said my mother is gone out. Okay, so have you started the other section? The other section? The speaker's section. No, please. I ask you to that go to our go to our YouTube channel. We have a video on them. We have a video on them. If I put it there, I'm coming. Let me check. Okay. You yourself. Okay. Who is done with the work? Me. Is it working? Yes. Let me see it. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, please, this is my work. I'm coming.
Let me look at it. Right. Very good. Perez, let me see yours. Okay. Galen, get ready. Perez, is this your work? Yes. But this is not how it looks like. Did you see mine? Did you see Kofi's work? Yes. Yes, so do it like that. Yes. Add the background to the paragraph and add the border to the paragraph. So do that. Darling, let me see us. Papa Kofi. Yes, uncle. This is what, look at the website I gave to you and click on the speakers section. That is where I want you to complete it. Okay. Dallas conference. Seth is all of it. The speakers page, you can start with the, the first section. The, for the speakers, I asked you to choose just uh, three. Use three speakers. Don't copy all of it. Okay, say. Hetty. Yes. Do you understand what we are doing? No. You will have to. Did I ask you to watch any videos? I don't remember. Let me check. Galen, let me see your, is your speaker still not working, Galen? Hetty, is your mom, is your mommy, Miss Sarah Boatin? Huh? Yes. I sent her a video. Last two weeks. Two weeks. I know she. It's, I think it's three weeks ago. I sent her a video to let you watch three weeks ago. So go and take it from, is she at home? Yes. So go to her and go go to her and go and look at her chat. You will see the video there. Okay. And watch watch that video and do the work in that video. Okay. If you don't understand anything, just is your WhatsApp working? No. So how will you get to me? My phone is active. You go to her and, and, and take her phone and use, go to the chat. You will see the link there. 22nd August, 22nd August, 2021. Do you hear me?
Hattie. All right, so um, I will make today's video available on YouTube. If you don't understand anything, go and watch it. And uh, for Galen, can you hear me? Kofi, your work is okay. So Perez and um, Perez, Daniela, Deborah, and Seth. Send me your work today, from today till tomorrow evening. Right, so I'll make the video available online. Uh, Deborah and Daniela, you have up till tomorrow evening to finish the work. And then Perez, send me your work when you are done. Then Papa Kofi, Minaman and Manaman, start on the speaker's page. Galen, also send me your work. Okay. So we'll end the meeting here. Hetty, I go and watch the video. Do you understand? Hetty. Sir. Yes. Sir. Go and watch the video. I will send the, the link is with your mom. Go and watch it. I'm looking for it. Sir, please, should I leave the meeting? Right, Kofi can leave. Hetty, the date is 20, yes. 22nd August, okay? Okay. Uh, Deborah and Sir. Yes. Sir, please, when will you collect our own? Please forgive me, Auntie Angela. Our oh, wait. Next week, I'll look at your start the speaker's page. So, should, should we be in a meeting whilst you are doing it? No. Haven't you been told the meeting times has changed? No. I thought only for Abacus. No, it has changed. All of you will come at four to five now. Okay. Bye. Bye. Deborah and um, Daniela, send me your work by tomorrow evening. 